Hello Internet and welcome, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing the unboxing for the Blood Bowl Ogre by Citadel Miniatures and Games Workshop. Okay guys, so this isn't going to be a very long uh, video. Also, you may notice the clean films already off of this. This is because this is attempt number two. Um, I'm afraid my dog, uh, halfway through my last video, decided to really act up. Okay, enough of that said, let's take a quick look at the uh, artwork in the front of the box. I love how I love the paint painting skill of the Games Workshop team. They are really, really good. I do have to say, I I don't think the model looks too bad at all. So you know, just the usual sort of things aside. Not suitable uh, for twelve plus. Not suitable for anyone under the age of three because small bits. I believe that's hazard. Warning: small parts. Yeah, and recyclable imaging. Sorry if you can hear noise in the background. I've locked. I've closed the door slightly so the dog can't get in but he's making a lot of noise out there okay i i kind of like the fact they've got the assembling guide i would like to have I probably preferred it to be in a little piece of paper that was on the inside of the box and plus some fluff maybe about the ogres and stuff like that but there's nothing there um okay so let's begin by opening up again as i said this is my second attempt so as you can see i damaged the box slightly that's my own fault for being impatient so, but I do like how it is set up on the inside. I mean, that's, you know, a kind of cool to me. Obviously, you get the, the little stand. Let's put that over there. Then you also get, oh, I've got it out, no problem. But then you get one sprue. Okay, so let's take a look at the sprue. Well, obviously, that's the bottom of his boot. I'm guessing that must be one of the feet that's up because I don't see why they would bother doing the, the bottom of the boot otherwise. Um, there is oh, the uh, number plate bit. There's his face. Again, as I said, I do think it looks really kind of cool. That's his body armour. There's his arm. Another sort of bit of arm with all like, the straps and the spikes going along it. There's the uh, body bit at the back though. Again, some sort of bits, part of the face, I think, at the bottom, maybe his mouth, probably is, uh, massive shoulder spikes, again, another sort of like fist bit, he's a, uh, oh, look at the detail, that looks really cool, like little dents, the skull sort of face, belly plate, I believe that is, um, I wasn't overly familiar with the ogres, if I'm honest, and there's the other boot, as you can see, the bottom bit, Obviously, he's touching the ground. The other bit's slightly up. So, yeah, that's that. That other boot bit is the bit that's obviously come up. Um, let's see if there's anything else. Well, it was made in 2017 as well. I'm. I have to say, I've, I've been very impressed with what Games Workshop's done, bringing back the uh, selected games. I'm a little annoyed I missed out on Sh um, Armageddon Shadow Wars uh, set. I just didn't have the money at the time, so I couldn't risk getting it. Anyway, guys, I have a vote, which I'll put here. Hopefully, I put something at the beginning to let me know that I am do, uh, letting you guys know I'm doing a vote. So, guys, for my next Blood Bowl unboxing, which may happen next week or the week after, would you, let me turn the light off behind me, like me to do the Blood Bolt Skaven team, the uh, Skaven Blight Scramblers? Or would you like me to do the Blood Bolt Dwarfs the Dwarf Giants, Dwarf Team. Um, I'm interested in getting the Troll at some point soon as well, but obviously I haven't got it this minute, so I can't choose that as an unboxing. Just to let you guys know, my uh, I'm going to be doing hopefully a couple of more unboxings soon. Uh, I plan on doing a few more tonight as well, because I'm not working tomorrow, so hopefully I can get some more done for you guys, because I, I've been a bit bland, um, a bit barren recently, and I apologise for that, guys, because... I've just been a bit knackered from work, and also the puppy is going through another really, really playful phase. Um, and I, I, and I, I love the fact he is he is playful, but at the same time, it's these moments here that I wish he sometimes wasn't. But I'm not going to knock him for being playful either, because it's better that he, you know, he is. Anyway, that's enough of that. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, everyone is welcome. If you'd like to leave a comment, please do, because I'd like to know what maybe what team you'd like me to do next. Um, I'm also going to let you guys know as well, I am going to salute 
um, next weekend. So I'll be doing a little bit of filming, maybe even picking up the uh, Blood Bolt Troll then. And if there's any other, th any other Blood Bolt stuff that may have come out before then. I'm hoping maybe an Elven team would be kind of cool. I would actually be very happy about that, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah. Anyway, guys, as I said, if you like, if you would like to subscribe as well to my channel, please do. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a good day. I'm actually quite cheerful. I had a nice little nap <laughs> before doing this video, so I feel quite rested, which makes a change for once. Anyway, see you later, and goodbye.